Welcome to Rust. Today, we're playing solo. I haven't uploaded a solo vid in a really long time, at least on my main channel. And that's mainly because I've just been having bad luck as a solo. But seeing as I've just recently hit 7,000 hours on Steam, I figured it was appropriate to try and record a solo life v7. So that's what we're gonna try and do. This server is very late into the wipe. There isn't many players on. Oh, I, I hear someone. Come on. No. How low is he? No, he's at 30. But yeah, anyways, this is like the fifth week of a monthly wipe server, so there isn't many people on here, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to make something happen. There is probably a... Um, a shop selling a gun for cheap, I bet. If I just get some sulfur or something, I bet I can buy something decent. Yeah, MP5 for 600 sulfur, that's insane. M39 for 600, holy shit. Metal pickaxe? No. So considering I have like all BPs on this server and considering that there's a shop that is selling, you know, really good deals, this should be pretty easy. Um. Yes, a pickaxe. It was all worth it. Oh, wow. Hello. What the fuck? That guy's kind of juiced, actually. That's just so random. Dude, I worked so hard for a pickaxe and there isn't any nodes on this server. Like, hello? Oh. Yep, here we go. Perfect. Grab the stone one, too. Oh my god. That scared the ever-living fucking Jesus out of me. What is happening there? Okay. Oh my god, dude. Are you serious right now? I need to go buy this MP5 fast! MP5, how low is it? Oh my god, it's like 1 HP. I should have it learned though. Yeah, I do. Okay, I need grenades. Whoever was shooting that pump at that base was now raiding it. While that was going down, I was here at Bandit Camp trying to get my ducks in a row by recycling grenades, making pistol ammo with that gunpowder, and repairing the MP5 I just bought so I could go counter it. Okay, we're good. Dude, I can't see shit, dude. There's no way he's still here, dude. It took me too long to get ready. I see an airdrop. I don't think he's here. I'm going for the airdrop. Is this a compound here? Probably is. It isn't a compound. It just looked like one. Airdrop's right there. I don't think they called this. I think this is random. M39, chainsaw. Not bad. Well, I can farm up a base pretty easy. I suppose I will farm up a base real quick. I like the water down here, this looks nice. Cargo's also out, two crates, I might go for that. With the wood I farmed, I slapped down a small base and straight away I was going to head to cargo ship. Yeah, let's go. But on my way over there, priorities changed. I might uh, go to my stash, grab some scrap, and then head up to the 01 fishing village. And, uh, oh, or I might just counter this raid. Dude, what is that timing? Oh my fucking 
fucking god, no way. Dude, what the fuck? Four hundred scrap. I'm ditching on horse. I'm coming straight back. No way. Holy fucking shit, dude. Those guys just got roasted. <laughs> no way, dude. No fucking way that just happened, dude. Oh, they're already back. Drowsy? Bruh. I know it's not my drowsy. Oh my. Holy shit, dude. Wait, they own that base now. That's the first base they raided when I was starting out. Oh my god, dude. The amount of fucking shit I have is insane. Literally like an hour in, not even. I could do LR8X already, but I don't know, it seems kind of mean. <laughs> that play was made all because of 600 sulfur for an mp5 dude without an mp5 that wouldn't have happened huh they're not in here that's surprising that is one way to start out a solo run yeah it's them they're trying to find my base were they hitting out my door Wait a minute. They had a bunch of broken swords and shit on them. There's no way, right? Maybe... Th did they find my base, dude? They did. It's GG. It's actually GG. I hear Heli. I'm... Tempted to try and take it. What I'm seriously considering is running over to my stash, making a tier 2, running back, placing it down, making garage door and shit before I go for Heli. This start was going great. Within the hour, I already countered a raid, but with that came a consequence, and that happened to be two new enemies. They already figured out where I lived, so I had to make some upgrades to the base. With the scrap from that counter and also from my stash, I was able to make a tier 2 workbench using the tier 1 at the raid. I brought it back to base and used it to craft a garage door. Since I heard them using up a lot of boom throughout the day already, I felt like this would be enough protection to leave my base alone for a while, so I could go for heli. I hope those guys used up all their boom. Because, um, if they have 2c4, I'm fucking done for. Oh, there's a repair bench here. If I can get some HQM, I can repair my LR. HQM? Bruh! <laughs> no way, dude! <laughs> That's insane! What are the chances of that? Where is it at right now? Water treatment? It's definitely being shot at by someone. There's no way it's patrolling right now. Oh, it's taken down at Harbor. What the fuck? That is weird. You know, the smart thing to do would be to stay here next to my base and make sure it doesn't get raided, but I'm not really a smart person. I might be able to make it. My horse is kind of jamming right now. Oh, crates are not out. Oh, they got someone boosted. It's like one has the one full metal. I have to wait for them to come down. I can't loot the top guy. Let me like hide behind this van. No way it just despawned. What the fuck is he doing? just giving him his gear.
no way. That naked just gave him all his stuff. I have no idea why. This guy's actually rolling me. I'm not, I'm not fucking warm yet. Did they change the LR? Because I feel like I'm doing something different than I usually am. I'm actually so bad! Finally, dude. I'm washed. What did I do? I think I was coming at me with a fucking sword. I mean, the heli loot was, wasn't terrible. In instance, high velocity, rifle ammo crate, armored door. I don't know what the last crate was. I didn't get that. Maybe the naked had it. I didn't loot him. Okay, I'm still building Priv. Oh my goodness. I don't know where that is. M39 suppressed somewhere. Yeah, this guy's up on the mountain or some shit, dude. Literally a waste of oxygen. This is definitely one of the uh, one of the guys I stole the raid from. I think someone's right outside too. Yep. Where is this fucking bitch? Is he actually up in the tower? I can't tell. I don't think he is. I see a laser. Okay, judging by where the laser is coming from. Oh, he's right there! I see him! Motherfucker, dude. He's dead. He's fucking dead, dude. That was annoying. Where do these guys live, dude? That's what I want to know. Drowsy again. It's so weird saying that because that's like one of my moderators <laughs> in my Twitch. Except it's spelled with a Z instead of an S. That's how I know it's not him, but you know, just a quick little shout out to my boy Drowsy. He is my most active moderator and he's just an awesome human being. Much love, Drowsy. After dealing with Drowsy and RAR outside of my base, I decided it was about time to try and expand. The problem with that was that there was no resources in my area. So I took a trip to an island just offshore to not only look for nodes, but to also get an airdrop I saw landing there. Come on, C4. 35 HQM and two satchels. And a fucking bucket helmet, dude. That's what I swam all the way out here for. Maybe there's some nodes out here. I can get my horse across. I can load up stone. It's looking pretty good. Yep, I think we're good. All right, that was an insane farm run. Much needed. Since I had pretty much all blueprints on this server, I decided to immediately invest some of the stone I farmed into a large furnace base. This way I could quickly smelt all of the ores I needed for the main base, as well as for whatever else down the road. Perfect. Let's go, man. With metal smelting, I then directed my focus to my main base, finishing the early expansion to my strong wind base design. It usually incorporates inner and outer peak downs, but because I wasn't planning on playing too long, and because the wipe was ending soon, I didn't see any need to farm for that. With the base in a state I was happy with, I decided to grab one of my lesser valuable kits and check out the tower overlooking my base. These guys right here could be a good raid. If they hop on, I'm kind of fucked because they have like literally eyesight viewing onto my base. OK, 
Okay, that was kind of flawless. Man, this base is so cheap to raid. Literally like one or two walls. I just want to look into the shooting floor and see what's up there. Holy fucking huge ass team, dude. Beds and everything. But yeah, if these guys cause any problems, at least I know that it's like pretty cheap. I probably have enough sulfur already to raid them. Just need like a tier three. I need to smelt it all and everything. After exploring the neighbors, I saw that cargo was out with three crates. It's risky going for a three crate cargo because without knowing how long it's been on the map, it could despawn any minutes. I decided to go for it anyways, since I needed the scrap for a tier three workbench. Helly's out too, bro. God damn it. Right as I'm taking this. Of course. You know, I might hop off cargo and go do that instead. I'll go loot the crates, I guess. Dude, what the hell is going on with the satchels, bro? Yeah, I think I am going to ditch cargo for uh, heli. I don't know. I might, I might, I might come back to this because I got on here so late, though. I might not. I mean, shit, dude. This is worth it alone just for the comps. Who the fuck just tagged that? Someone's taking it. Someone long shot that. Oh my god. They're doing pretty good, too. I don't know if I'm going to make that. Wait, I actually have a horse. I can make it. They're going to take that down. Yep, right there. Airfield. I think they're taking it from airfield. Ooh, suppressed M39 might be the... Yeah, 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 that's the play. That's the play. I'll go with MP5 as well. Gotta be more than one, right? He's got L92 to tag it. Man, he knew. He fucking knew, dude. I think it is just a solo. Kinda makes sense. Rockets. More rockets. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? These crates are insane. What is that? How is he alive? Is he dead? Heck bye, dude. Oh my god. Absolutely fucking rolled. Got looted. Oh, he's right here. Oh, fuck! He's got an M2! Convenient horse, okay. He's looking for me. <laughs> he has no idea, dude. I'm just gonna wait for him to come back this way. He probably thinks I got heli loot and I ran, but if he just runs this basic direction again, I'll be able to get him. No way! One shot? Get no meds. Wow. That's insane, dude. Damn. He really just lost all that. That's insane. Two L9s, LR, M2, and then like a bunch of rockets and shit, dude. Holy. And an AK as well. I depoted that. What an insane 
Ellie, take. That was definitely worth it. When I depoted back at base, I got in my rib and I went straight back to get what I stashed. Let's get it on, dude. Let's fucking get it, dude. My horse is still here, dude. I'm gonna flank him again on a horse. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely dead. <laughs> he's so mad, dude. I, I'm I, I'm just outplaying him. Yeah, I I just genuinely feel bad at this rate. Yeah, this guy hates me to death. I'll tell you that. He fucking hates me. These perfectly placed horses, dude. They're just so OP. So I met a new enemy, and his name was Jack Daniels. It was definitely worth ditching cargo ship to fight him. Not only did I get really good heli loot, but I also got an M249 along with numerous high tier guns. It was after I depoted that I did a big recycle run. This got me more than enough scrap to make a tier 3 workbench, so I did. I then immediately started crafting boom using the sulfur I farmed. Paired with what I got from Heli, I ended up with a pretty decent amount of boom. If I wanted to survive the night, I had to choose my next raid wisely. My biggest enemy on the server right now was Drowsy. I stole a raid from him, killed him numerous times, and even shut down a door camp that should have been easy for him. The problem was that he knew where I lived, and I had no idea where he lived. This is bad because I know we have unfinished business. An offline raid from them could be possible. Then there's my new enemy, Jack. He was solo for now, but I had a feeling he was loaded. I mean, he was coming back out to kill me with an M249 and no meds. That tells me that he's rich enough to just not care. I took a horse towards where he kept coming from, and what I found would make perfect sense if he lived there. The problem was, I couldn't afford to raid this right now. It was getting late into the night, and I didn't feel like farming anymore. So this brings me to my final option. The tower up on the hill overlooking my base. They haven't caused any harm to me yet, but considering I didn't know where Drowsy lived and Jack's base was out of my budget, this was my only recourse. If these guys logged on before I did and simply looked down the mountain, they'd see a brand new base with a furnace base already outside of it. So if it makes you feel any better, I was raiding these guys to prevent a potential offline from them and to hopefully make some profit to afford a raid on Jack Daniels. With my mind made up, I headed over with all of the boom I had to see what I could do. Um, I might go through one of these doors. Yeah, I might go through that right there. I feel like this is just a loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm, I'm really having a hard time understanding this fucking base, dude. This is all honeycomb. This is definitely the backside. Maybe it's like an up and over here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna splash this right here. I just broke that through the wall. Okay, that figures. What do we got here? It's literally my design. So if here's the front entrance, then goes up and over, then that's the triangle airlock, and then this is TC. Yeah, armored door. Good decision. Okay, we got TC. Oh my god, dude, the components unlocked. Oh, it's loaded, dude. Okay. Armor, BBs, Keck W. Still have three rockets, five satchels. There's a sleeper right there. 
Oh, okay. Holy, that's pretty good. Nine satchels. I'm going to use it on the, uh, on the garage door there. That's perfect. Rip the TC. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's worth for a few satchels. Definitely worth. Dude, holy shit. This space is loaded. Oh, my meds. Another tier three, though. I can sell that in the tier two upstairs. Yeah, these guys would have raided me for sure. Look at all this sulfur and shit. They would have raided my ass. These guys are if these guys are active at all, they would have raided me. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Oh, the fucking pistol ammo. This is actually worth another tier three. This is so worth. I'm just going to lock these guys in here and not kill them because they still have beds upstairs. And if they have rust plus, they can just hop on and kind of make this really tough for me. So I'm just going to lock them in here. All right, guys, uh, I sorted everything into one room pretty much. I haven't even explored upstairs yet, really. Well, I explored the second floor and got all the loot in there down here. Here's box number one two three four five which is insane and six definitely worth the raid i'd say oh and then there's also the tc which is also really really good yeah um i don't think there's anything else because there's just upstairs which is this weird ship which is just beds really no need to blow into that and then the floor above this one oh okay then it's just heli garage Uh, okay. I think this is my friend that I yoinked the M2 from. Yep. Jack Daniels is going to be a problem. I'm glad my large furnace isn't running. Because that would give it away pretty much instantly, I think. Still, though, if he puts two and two together, dude, my base might be gone tonight. So this raid granted me exactly what I was hoping for more sulfur and explosives to do more raiding. At the same time, it attracted unwanted attention. It lured Jack Daniels into the area. And if he puts two and two together, he can easily figure out that I live just down the hill. So to ensure I didn't direct any more attention to my area, I decided to build a shop far from my base, selling the workbenches and guns I got from the raid. I also made some upgrades and added an outer TC to better my chances of surviving till tomorrow before logging off for the night. Despite the enemies I made yesterday, my base survived the night. While I was out getting the sulfur I made from my shop overnight, I noticed someone called in large oil rig. So I headed over to the fishing village to buy a submarine. I love this thing. It's so fucking cool. Someone is taking it. I see a rib and everything. Why do I feel like there was two? If there was two, he, he would have, he wouldn't have just left. He wouldn't just leave his teammate if there was two. I think it was just one. Oh wow, supply signal. What? Oh my fucking meds! Why so many meds? Oh my god.
Okay, uh, I need to consider how I'm gonna get all this shit home. Yep, I see it. LR, same guy. When I depoted what I got from Oil Rig, I tried chasing down Heli, but it despawned. On my way back to base, however, I noticed my neighbors I raided last night finally logged on, and were trying to salvage their mini copter. Wait, is he about to hop in his mini? Oh, his flame turret is fucking him right now. <laughs> he just died to it. <laughs> Wait, I can steal the mini. This is all open. Boxes up here. It's nothing, it seems. Two hundred fuel. Holy. This guy logged on and just opened every single door just because. Fuck it, dude. What's in this locked box? Okay. An MP5 kit. Now that I had a mini copter, I spent some time doing some simple base expansion so I could easily take down future helis and store my own. It was while I was doing these base activities that a familiar friend decided to poke his nose in my territory again. Oh fuck, I just fell out of my roof. What are they hitting me with? Bolts. Should be dead. I think he picked up his teammate though, because I think I only headshot him and then he bled out right after. No, oh, the other guy died. Mr. Nobody. And Browsy! My good old friend! He's back at it! God, I just I love this guy. Super friendly, giving me free kits. It was drowsy, except today he brought a new friend, Mr. Nobody. It was good to know that they were still active, as although it was unlikely, there was the possibility I'd have some sort of ending resolution with these guys. But before I had time to ponder about a revenge story against drowsy, Heli came out. So with my new shooting floor, I decided to take it down. Rifle ammo. Rifle ammo. And rockets. Not terrible. I would have preferred rocket C4 though. I just realized I have a mini copter. I don't know why I'm not just like flying somewhere to go farm stone over there, you know? I'm gonna go do that right as we speak. To 
be honest, I don't really remember why I was farming stone, but while I was out there, I got some sulfur too. With a full inventory of farm, I was just about to head back to base, but then I saw something that caught my eye. I just keep getting more and more sulfur, like, all I need to do now is wait for people to hop on to do a uh, an online raid. I would love to raid Drowsy. I would love to raid um, Jack Daniels. And then that's really the only two people, I guess. But it, I want them to be online raids. What the fuck? That, that is a hazmat rocket launcher. should be dead. I don't know how I'm not. Oh my god, we're both terrible. Oh, wait. Wait. Mr. Nobody, and then this should be Drowsy. It is. No way. How is this them? How does that make any sense? How is this their base? I don't believe it for a second, dude. Like, what? Oh, they're, it's really over for them now, dude. I actually found Drowsy. If I hadn't had a wild hare to follow this minicopter with a full inventory of farm, I never would have found this base. It was literally in the middle of nowhere on an island I never would have expected. So like I said, now that I knew where the main antagonist of this wipe lived, it was over for them. I spent the next 30 or so minutes smelting sulfur and crafting explosives to take down Drowsy once and for all. By the end of it, I had 12 rockets as well as a ton of HE grenades from that raid I did last night. Despite winning all of the fights throughout the wipe against them, if I lost this raid, they'd be the winners in the end. I was really hoping this was going to be enough, and there was only one way to find out. I'm going to land on the other side of the island so they don't hear me coming. There's a rib. That's probably them on the rib. They just docked that lighthouse to recycle or some shit. So they are recycling right now, 100%. Okay, they did armor the the roof. That's bad. I'm gonna start raiding him now while he's over there recycling. <laughs> they see it. Oh my god. What the fuck is that?
he just respawned. Oh my fucking god. Dude, what is this bear? I don't know if I would have been able to raid that if he didn't open that door. I'll be honest with you, dude. Pretty decent amount of shit, though. I don't even... I can't tell if this was a main or if it was a secondary base they built. I really, I really can't tell. I would love to be able to place a TC so I can go outside. Thank you. The raid was fairly easy. I caught them with their pants down as they were coming back from cargo. It was pretty unfortunate for them, so I decided to have a talk. Okay. Um, there was like a row of cooked sulfur too. Yeah, 3k. Not bad. What an interesting turn of events. I wish that this, uh, I wish this raid was a little bit more eventful, like, you know. I was tempted to just wait for them to d be done recycling and run back and then I kill them when they as they run in and then they have time to respawn and do shit. Either way though, I mean we I raided them. I mean they were online, but they could have done so much better instead of rushing out to see if I died, they could have kitted and then peeked. Yo! I just wanna talk. What you do what? Hey yo, back up! Oh fuck! Me too! Yo, back up, bro! Me too, bitch! I wanna talk too! Come here, bitch! I wanna talk too! Yo, relax! Yeah. Blueprint! Come here, Blueprint! Yo! Come here, Blue! Blue! Come here, Blue! That's dangerous, bro! Blue? What's your friend looking at me with? Blue? What is that? Give me that booty! Yo, stop right there. Blue. Drop, drop it! To your face. Drop it! Drop it! Alright, good. Hi, Blue. I, I got raided by Blue! You're Blue! Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Hi. It all started with the god. counter raid. <laughs> It no. all started with the counter raid. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't make me a video. Oh my I am God. gonna make you a video, dude. You're the Yo. main. You're the main antagonist for Solo Life V7, dude. How does it make you feel? Shit. <laughs> oh my God. After this interaction, I decided to put our rivalry aside and give Drowsy his base back. With my revenge story fulfilled, I logged off for the night. I was going to continue the next day, but overnight, it seems someone else got their own slice of revenge. Either way, I couldn't be happier with how this wipe went. I really hope you guys felt the same. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.